Uh, I'm here at Rhythm Dance Salon for dance practice hours. I will try to talk with some people about Blue Sweat Shoes, which is the name of the dance society. Hello, my name is Jing. I'm a master student here. I like dancing. And that's where we met in this special room called Rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How you like dancing so far? It's, you it's really good. It's been more awesome dance, dance all <laughs> with more energy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Pascal, I'm a member of Blue Sweat Shoes and I am hosting the ballroom practices that you can see here. I have been dancing for years myself. Like, I would recommend to everyone, it's the most fun you can possibly have. <laughs> It's the end of the practice and I have Mila with me. Hello! <laughs> How you like dancing so far? Yeah, for sure. I joined Blue Suede Shoes. They're a ballroom dance team at TU Delft. Yeah, I love it so far. Did ballet, <laughs> tap and jazz uh, when I was uh, younger and now I'm back at ballroom. She is great. <laughs> yeah, she is great as well. So, Thanks. like and subscribe. There are hundreds of bicycles here and it's sometimes really hard to find your bike, especially in the dark. Sometimes I spent around 15 minutes just to find my bike. So here is my bike. Let's see if this is the correct one. Okay, this is the one. Hello. Hello. I have Afif with me and we are at the top of the Delft right now. Uh, we climbed to the top of the new church. Afif, what are your thoughts about being at the top of the city? Everyone is below you right now. It's okay. The view is okay. I mean, the weather is fine for today. The bells are ringing. <laughs> it's a bit cold, but no complaints. It's all good for today. <laughs> Which girl are you checking on? Yeah, girl, girl, uh, are you talking about girls? <laughs> I don't even know if it's a man or a girl from from uh, this high. Okay. We are at the robotic software practicals lecture lab hour. For this lab, we are trying to simulate a car. You can ask assistants about their help. Hello, Martin. Hello. Yeah, he is my lab partner, Martin. <laughs> my next lecture is at Sir Isaac Newton Hall, next to the Bernoulli Hall. The lecture is ended, so we come to the Industrial Design Engineering to have a lunch and continue with the assignment. For lunch, I didn't have time to prepare some stuff, and I'm making a quick uh, tomato soup. After spending around seven hours today <laughs> on this project, uh, we got some kind of a car that can basically move. Okay, it crashed, I believe, yeah. But it's still a success. Yeah, right now I'm hating it. <laughs> because seven hours. Uh, yeah, maybe it's fine then. So another hard part of the day is finding where did you park your bike. For this time I remember where I parked my bike. But it can be exhausting and time taking to find your bike. Uh, here is my bike. 
There's a hydraulic system that helps you to get like lift it with the okay, ready to go. I will make you the most common food I eat, which is pasta, of course. Uh, I call this recipe putting whatever you can find in your fridge. This is my common food. <laughs> I like to sit here to eat my dinner. When we get bored, we just flip them by 90 degrees. And currently they are upside down. We are at faculty TPM. We have uh, Snorri, Brian and Yaron with me. Well, it's a course about how to start a startup. Uh, okay. Or create an idea that to uh, start a startup. It's mostly about really finding a problem that's really important to solve. Okay. So you know that it's like... If, if you solve that, there will be clients for your <laughs> new startup. That's uh, what I'm learning. <laughs> uh, we're making a business model with a timeline. Like okay. We're having a startup business about uh, glasses for in visual impaired people. And yeah, this yeah. is our future snaps. The idea is we are going to create glasses of some sort, which are going to use uh, like high fidelity cameras to be able to uh, help people with visual impairment locate the items they're looking for. So it's basically a uh, assistive device for blind people, basically. Hey, we have Roberto with me to today. Hey, I, oh, Roberto, do you feel like an entrepreneur after these courses? Yeah, obviously. One of my main goals in my lifetime would be to be an entrepreneur. My journey will start from working somewhere. So okay. then develop my ideas more and more to reach uh, maybe something in deep tech and related to IT. Okay. Uh, can I ask you about the difference in weather compared to your country and here? Sure, so um, I'm from Germany, I'm more from the south. I would say here it's definitely a lot more rain. <laughs> Uh, so I kind of had to get used to that, but I just have a, a very good rain jacket, <laughs> I guess. I bought a lot of like weatherproof clothes when I went to Sweden. Can, yeah. nice one. Can you tell us more about your startup idea? Okay, so our startup idea is to um, basically, uh, we're looking at milk companies and how they deliver their food. We were trying to reduce the waste over there, replace that idea and do something more sustainable for the environment. So I, that I'm sick. I don't always sound okay, like we have Karim with me. He's Karim. my roommate. He's yes. football playing DJ <laughs> architect friend. <laughs> exactly. <everything>. Okay. <laughs> I like the building. I like my roommates. I just came to <laughs> two, uh, two months ago. Okay. And I got used to it. Everything. It's all right in Delft. <laughs> I just like that you have your everyday life, you go to, <laughs> to the university, come back, have some sports yeah. or play some sports <laughs> and everything. It's getting used to it and everything. And Here is my other roommate, Giovanni. Yeah, he also studies architecture. Yes, so yeah. I want to ask you about the architecture of the city. I think Delft is a very lovely city. Architecture wise, uh, it's beautiful. It's like every corner, every every bridge you cross, you could take a photo and make a postcard. And I think it's interesting that the university uh, makes the city. But sometimes I think I'm, I'm not such a fan of cities that look so cute and so perfect. <laughs> I also like messy and dirty cities. What, that's why what I miss a little bit about Berlin. What so they do? Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. And then there is skip. If you play skip, you don't have to take a card. Um, and then if you play. So we are at the library right now and we have Eje, Awa and Felista with me. Um, yes, so I'm studying building technology in my bachelor art architecture, but uh, it's more involved with the technological side of architecture. You can see my notes and everything from my computer. I'm working on concrete still. And, uh, yeah. Okay, we also have Felista with Hi. us here. I know her as the study buddy of Eje, but... Yes. <laughs> We are can can you tell us more about yeah, yourself? Um, and um, yes. together. <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing architecture at the same faculty as Eje, but um, it's a different track. And I chose to study your heritage 
and um, architectural design. And right now I'm working on the analysis of my site and <laughs> fac factory we are remodeling. And oh, uh, yeah, I just love it. Cool. She designed the trails. And there goes like the architecture of this building. We kind of do, but I heard that the roof is leaking. And we have a sleeping capsule here that you can close yourself in. And we have two massive chairs that you can relax yourself. I have Clem with me and it's the finals week. Clem, can you tell me how's your finals going so far? My finals? Yeah. What is my finals? Final exams. Oh, my final exam. Uh, I just have an exam on Friday. I mean, it's high resolution imagining, so I hope it will be okay, but I think so. <laughs> it's like microscopy, electron microscopy stuff. It's really interesting. Are you doing mentally fine as well? <laughs> no. Hopefully for me. I don't have this kind of courses. I just have like communication science and this one. So it was like, okay. Okay, thank you. Maria, my question is like, why are we here at the library at a Saturday night? Uh, I think we're writing exam period. So we have final assignments, we write exams soon. So yeah. That's why we spend our nights here in a moment. Okay, what do you think about ChatGBT? Uh, it's great. It just wrote a part of my assignment of our group work. And yeah, it was a great answer that they gave me. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to toilets, but I don't know if I am a D with a soft bracket or a H with a sharp bracket. In here, you, t you put your towel like this and it circulates around and I hope they clean it, but like I think it reduces the waste. We have Sonia and Liam with me. Well, we have to analyze a company, a startup company from Yas Delft, that is the university in which we study. And we chose Sans Glove, which uh, produces optic gloves for training in uh, companies or in the Dutch army. And I think it's really cool. Moving to Liam. I like that it's pretty practical. Like we have a case study, and then we get to actually uh, interact with the company. I think it was a good experience. Um, and the product we are working on is really cool. Yeah, do you feel like an entrepreneur now? <laughs> <laughs> More so, I guess. We are at TS Delft now and we are at Sansglow. I think it's absolutely amazing. We just tried it for the first time and I've heard about, you know, a haptic glove like this for some time now. And having tried VR, this really adds to the uh, experience. It's not the same as the VR that I tried before. So mm. earlier we were in a space station kind of place, I think a science lab. There was a part where you take the drill to drill some something, and that drill really feels like a drill. And it sells the gloves to other companies, and they use it for VR training, for showing oh, yeah. environments like in real estate. Which so very company. is the most elaborated application? Uh, the guys from Volkswagen, they have very nice things as well. Ruben, can you tell us more about the future of the virtual reality? Hopefully it will become more widely available to general customer, not as, um, not as only as limited as it is right now. Increased haptics, uh, right now many people complain that the interactions and the immersion in virtual reality is not as natural as it should be. Mm -hmm. So more haptics and more sensations on, on your hands and on your whole body will definitely be a plus. It's just before the presentation. Are you excited for the presentation? I'm really excited. Fortunately, the, a little part of the presentation is already recorded. We only need to do the Q&A, so I hope we are well prepared. But we are a bit delayed, so... <laughs> With me, I have two Swedish girls, uh, Emma and Amanda. Uh, Emma, you are one of the first people I met in Delft, actually. It's going well. It's, uh, it's fun to meet a lot of people.
lot of people and also to study at the ID building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The best pub. Uh, ID pub on Wednesdays, okay. Really, I really like Delft. Honestly, like I had no expectations before coming here. I didn't hear a lot about Delft before arriving here, but I think it's the best city. It's really like cozy and everyone's very friendly, so. Yeah, all English speakers as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. So cool. Also, I'm good to meet you. <laughs> oh, I'm, I I got to meet you too. Is exchange studies in Delft hard? I think it's harder than in uh, other places. Yeah. Like more more things to do, but uh, but manageable. Yeah. And life, life is good. So. And I think like okay. you, obviously you have to study, but you can also choose to have fun. So. Okay. And we choose to have fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Luca is actually the first person it's in Delft. Yeah. Oh, like. Do I like people? Yes, I really like the people. I really like to meet uh, new international people from all around the world. Do I like the food here? I uh, actually not so much because it's very more expensive than in Italy, and I cannot find my favorite food. But yeah, you can survive. Okay. Hi. Uh, hi, Maya. Uh, can you tell us the weirdest thing that you see in Netherlands? Like, not the weirdest, but uh, the thing that shocked you the most. Oh, I know immediately what. Um, so you have a lot of canals here, and there's a lot of bikes here. So it's kind of natural that there's a lot of bikes in the canals. <laughs> so they have a special boat and a special machine with an arm that goes and grabs like bikes out of the canal, but. When they do it, they back, they grab like 10 bikes at the same time <laughs> and they put them on this boat like everywhere is crazy. So if you're in Holland, don't swim or fall into the canals because it's full of rusty old bikes. <laughs> We are with Pelegia, am I pronouncing it correctly? Actually we are not in Delft, we are at Rotterdam, but yeah, we came here for study. <laughs> and she is also working with regards to her studies. Uh, how do you balance work life and study life? It's very hard, but it's rewarding. <laughs> Yeah, I love it too, guys. <laughs> I will scan you now. Scan complete. You have a slight epidermal abrasion. I will talk about the city. Then I will talk about the future of the city. And I will tell you the problem with the potential of the city. The city has great potential, but it, it needs to improve its public recognition. So we think about we should add more social events and open more educational institutions. We are watching the Netherlands Argentina game right now and we are at the half time. Mega was my coach for introduction program. She was the one teaching us about how to delve. <laughs> Obviously it went good because we are still here. <laughs> I mean I know a lot of people like we disintegrated after the group so I think we all did a good job. Like we're still staying together and I absolutely love that. And I'm glad, I, I'm really, really glad I became a coach. You know, it's, it's Exciting. It was one of the most exciting games I've ever seen in my life. To be honest. It was a great atmosphere. <laughs> All the best people went crazy. It was nice. Who are you supporting for the final? Uh, Morocco. 
Uh, yeah, We're same. <laughs> same. Pankaj, how do you like us? Ah. He is an Argentina fan. <laughs> okay, have fun. Sorry. Okay. Harsh, what are your opinions on Turkish food in Delft? <laughs> Turkish food in Turkey was better. Oh, it's not authentic Turkish food. But it's cheap and I like it. It's my favorite cuisine here. More than my cooking? What's your favorite food in Turkey? <laughs> Turkish food. <laughs> Lionel Messi. We are having a bros night out <laughs> and uh, you know the other guys but I also have Venkat and Advait with me. Hello. Hello. Why are you not using chopsticks? Because I don't know how to. But that's how you learn it. Right? <laughs> Fair enough but I don't want to struggle. I want to enjoy my meal. Leave yeah. me alone Alpine. Venkat, yeah. what will you miss more about me? Alperen as a whole. Did you just call Alperen asshole? <laughs> no, I said Alperen as a whole. <laughs> <laughs> Since September or so, I've, I, I've regretted so much that this oh, guy is an exchange student. Mm -hmm. I, I, haven't I told you so many times that, you know? Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, look at how he's jumping. Help me, you crazy. I'm at the Haptic Interference Technologies Lab and I'm currently trying to simulate this painting in haptic domain. When I move my fingertip, you can see that it corresponds to the movement of the mouse and when i pass through different colors i can feel different feelings from my fingertip because of the electro vibration and electrostatic forces we are at the debate for ethics of ai course and i have yip with me yip can you uh, tell your argument about surveillance <laughs> cameras <laughs> well <laughs> like we, we just had a i think a 15 minute discussion about that um uh, yeah, just about how we uh, should if we should implement surveillance cameras and how and what regulation should be used and, uh, it was it was an interesting debate and <laughs> Me being on this camera, <laughs> my point. Okay, like, she was a counter argument, and I want a pro argument from our member Jacqueline. What do you think about surveillance cameras? Facial recognition technology is the most accurate solution there is, so it should be employed. <laughs> okay. Jerry, would you prefer after technical errors? <laughs> I think I love being recorded and I want to be recorded all the time. Uh, I prefer being recorded than being watched in real life. This is dream right now. Yeah, it's my dream. I, I love this. This situation is great. Actually, I was really sad when the camera cut earlier because I got, I got stopped recording. It was really, it was really sad for me. So. Like I can only talk yeah. on honestly. No, yeah, we can, we can agree to disagree. Um, everything I said in the presentation, I didn't believe it. Um, it was just for the argument. I don't like cameras, and I don't like surveillance. But uh, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Like, um, I think like face recognition is a tool, and it depends on the user. It can be used mm. for good or it can be used for bad. Mm. Algorithm just uh, uh, not living thing. It's just mathematics. <laughs> Great point. Yeah. You win. All right. <laughs> Yay. 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 Our, our semester is done. Oh, no, it's can we take no, it? Almost. We literally have an exam. Maybe we should. I'm at the de lake next to the Delft. I want to make an introduction video of myself. My name is Alperen Kenan. People pronounce it as Alparan, but it's called Alperen. I'm a mechatronics engineering master student from Istanbul, Turkey, and I'm currently an exchange student at Delft for six months. Delft is an amazing city. I really love the people here. As you can see from my other videos, they are really kind, smart, and nice people. The university is already worldwide known. It's top 10 in the engineering field. Netherlands is also a great country for doing exchange studies. I really enjoyed my time in Delft. I will definitely do it again. I have no regrets about that. I was lucky with my roommates. I was lucky with my lab 
professor. I was lucky with my introduction program friends. But I want to tell you something that I'm regretting the most in here. I feel like I couldn't connect with many people as I intended to do. I couldn't find many people to do stuff with. Most of the time they told me they were really busy and they didn't reply me for a further date. I traveled lots of countries. I have been to 15 countries in Europe. I think it's a good number, but all of them, they were solo travels. I traveled solo because of choice, but unfortunately the choice wasn't mine. That's the way it is. Therefore, I feel like I somehow failed at my exchange periods. But in overall, I would really like recommend DELT. Yeah, that's what I wanted to tell. See you. Today is a special day, it's October Fest time day. Uh, so here you can see the people. So that's that.